Consensus Codify is the blockchain operating system for commerce and finance. It's a little bit of a mouthful, so let me unpack what that really means. We know that there are open source networks like Ethereum and others that today are powering new types of financial activity. They're complex, they're new, so what we hope to achieve is provide folks essentially what functions as an operating system through APIs or user experiences or private label platforms that really helps people take advantage of that underlying innovation. But to make it really tangible, we've built the operating system around four different modules today. And so the first module is called Codify Assets. It's essentially digital assets. And digital assets uh, comprise the tokenization of different asset classes. So if you think about how securities are manufactured, whether stocks or bonds, how real estate is invested in or sold to investors, all of that packaging is going to change. And we think that it's gonna be built into blockchain native tokens or other wrappers um, that allow us to create next generation instruments, new types of asset allocations, new types of financial products, things that are more appropriate for a regular investor. And so that's piece number one, the digital assets. The second piece is payments. And of course, everybody knows that uh, blockchain-based systems are used for currency and for payments and things of that nature. But we think there's actually a larger, uh, a larger innovation target to go after, which is once you can program payments, once you can build rules into cash flows, you really start to get into a very interesting world. So for example, you might want to have smart contracts that power subscription payments for your products. Imagine subscribing to Netflix or to the New York Times through uh, an easy cryptocurrency experience. Number two is, once you build engines for cash flow-like subscriptions, you can use them for things like bonds. So if a bond has a covenant that's hit, and that triggers a periodic payment or some sort of data changes and you need to update things. Again, you just create a smart contract that uh, captures the information and routes, routes the money. Or let's say you have an entire real estate project and you're collecting rent from people. Again, you have a cash flow engine that keeps up in an intelligent way with what you're trying to do. And so that's number two, that's our payments module. Number three is networks, Codify Networks. And in Codify Networks, what we try and do is take advantage of the innovation in decentralized finance. So that's everything to do with staking or understanding lending risk or figuring out how to use tokens and engage more broadly in public blockchains. And so everything around that frontier of innovation is going to live inside our networks module. And then finally, the last bit is data. And we think that it's really important to understand the quality of the money movement that is happening on your network. Whether it's public or whether it's private and permissioned, you need to figure out the financial attributes of the money movement or the financial attributes of asset performance. You also need to understand the uh, KYC AML risks that comprise of for your users and the type of financial activity that you have. So we've built out a set of features to track that in a scalable way, again, whether it's a public or a private blockchain. So those are the four pieces, assets, payments, networks, and data. And to get it together, they comprise the modules of Codify, which again is the blockchain operating system for commerce and finance.